there were so many reasons to join the society, but most importantly, I think it was that the people that I knew and whose work I respected deeply were all members of the society. So people like Dinah Shelton and Rosalind Higgins, George Abi Saab, Donna Sullivan, uh, everybody I knew that was a profound expert in international law was a member of this organization, and because of my passion for international law, I knew that this was the place that I needed to be. Being a member of the society allowed my career to flourish in a way that otherwise it would not have. Again, part of that is being plugged into this network of people who were where I wanted to be, and people who were influential decision makers, provided an opportunity for me to have the kind of impact that I wanted to have in international legal circles. So the society provides a very valuable channel, a very valuable instrument for affecting change in the areas of international law that I care about. It also provides an avenue for networking professionally to find out about what professional opportunities may exist. For example, visiting out at different universities. I've been able to teach in Sweden, in Ireland, in the Czech Republic, in Japan, in Chile, and many of those connections I cultivated through the society. For budding international lawyers, I would say that ASIL membership is not optional, it's a must. And because of the size and scope and prestige of the organization, you can do a lot with your ASIL membership. It's up to the member, but there are tremendous opportunities that are not available anywhere else.